Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. This is a mountain lion story. As you may know, near the top of this mountain I sensed a, a mother mountain lion hunting for five cubs and the place where I sensed it was near the final ascent in a level place where the chaparral was high on either side of the trail and there was a, only a narrow space where the trail was. So that made a good ambush point. And so I headed back quite quickly when it became apparent that something like that might be going on or contemplated rather than trying to get to the top. You know, my way down is quite a long way down. Um, there was a spot, another spot. On my right side as I was descending, there was a sheer rock. And then above the rock was a sheer cliff, red, both red. and. The place where the rock went next to the trail, the trail went around the rock kind of sharply, like a, a semicircle. And there at that spot, there had been a, uh, a washing down of the dirt that made the cliff unstable. And so the people that were working on the trail had put a huge PVC sheet going down, the, going down the edge of the mountain that had been washed out and then in front of that on the trail between the landslide and the red ro rock and closer to the landslide they had put um, sawhorses to bespeak the danger that was there. So I was heading back towards that point and just as I got to the point where I was to go around the semicircle, I heard like a wish or black magic from the mountain lion mother and it went like this. It said, may she slip and slide. And just at the moment it said that, I slipped and I started to slide, but I caught myself right away. And then I realized as I was hitting around, that this was a perfect place to ambush game. And so I asked the the um, mountain lion mother about it and she said they hadn't caught any people there, any humans there, that it, it was a place where they caught antelope. And from that I gather that this mountain lion that's on the mountain over there with the, with the cubs came from the north, maybe from Antelope Valley or that area. So I sensed her tracking me all the way down to where I could see the cars down here right now down here and there was a retinue of, of small and luscious looking children accompanied in a lackadaisical fashion by their parents who were not from the United States and did not really know how dangerous mountain lions can be to tiny children you know even coyote packs can drag off tiny children some of these children were quite tiny and going very slow and holding their parents' hand, which seemed safe to me. But others were about three feet tall and uh, not, in, not in poor physical shape, but not at the age yet where, where a child displays great um, athletic prowess. And those, those children, I felt, if all alone, would have been an easy mark for the mountain lion mother. So I asked the people as they came down, just to make sure there were no straggler children of that age around. And, and uh, as far as I can tell, it's a safe day for all concerned. I think so. Looks like there are plenty of cars down there still, so there are more people to come back down. This was a, a prophecy I had earlier in the year when there was so much rain that there would be trouble with the mountain lions trying to feed their cubs at the time when the rain stopped and the, the abundance of uh, easy prey stopped. I have a concern for the hikers, especially those not in the know, especially hikers hiking alone and um, children hiking alone. I think it's very dangerous this summer. So please be safe and be careful. God bless you all. Keep you safe and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars and so are you. These are grown-ups, so I won't bother. Oh, incidentally, dear ones, uh, on the psychic plane I was talking to a, a naturalist or perhaps a ranger here. And he mentioned that I had made a huge mistake talking on the telepathic plane to that mother mountain lion. 
He said they're attracted to people that talk to them. So I asked the mother mountain lion about it on the telepathic plane. And she said, if you call us, we will come. And I asked, why would they do that? I asked the mother mountain lion that. And she said, um, they want to see us. So she was tracking me either physically or visually all almost all the way down the mountain and that had to do with the stupidity uh, on my part to try to attract her attention to give her a call and so I advise all of you it's not such a good idea unless you're with somebody else who's strong and capable like yourself not if you're all alone not if you're still a child I suggest against it Talk to your parents about it and see what they say. I might mention also I have found that predators, including coyotes, bobcats, and mountain lions, are not real talkative, and they definitely keep under their hat all the methods that they've developed, which are very important to them for catching prey. So they might notice, they visualize, they notice right offhand if you're heading towards one of the places that's perfect for them to ambush or to trap you or drag you into the underbrush. They notice it, but they don't say anything. You can see them visualizing it sometimes. Amongst coyotes, because they're smaller, a lot of times they do teamwork things and they have these things well worked out and I don't know whether they visualize or talk about it or not because I've never been in that situation so I can't say but that that visualization is true of mountain lions you know they would never divulge to you say you know that place where the landslide is is the perfect place for me to catch you please lose your step they never say a thing you know but you can catch it you can catch how their breath stops they're holding their breath and they're waiting there there's a tense silence you know you have to figure these things out I think if you want to hike these mountains this summer just a thought <laughs>